Hey guys, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I am talking about what kitchen items you need to buy at the Dollar Tree. I'm Kristen. I am sister number two from Six Sister Stuff. Dot com. So we've been gaining a lot of new subscribers. So if you are new, welcome to our channel. Now, if you haven't done so, be sure you subscribe and then also push that little bell so you can get all of our notifications. So I usually go to the store and purchase items, just a few items at a time, just try things out. And today, so I'm going to share with you things that work for me and things that don't work for me. Now I'm going to show you what they look like in their packaging so you can be able to find them. But just know the majority of the items I have tried myself. Now on my last Dollar Tree post, you can find it right there, I had tons of suggestions that people love to get at the Dollar Tree. So if you have any kitchen items that you love to get and that I miss, be sure to comment below so I'll be able to check them out for myself. All right, you guys, let's go check out these kitchen items. So I pulled up into the Dollar Tree and it is Pouring rain. Oh, wish me luck. All right, the first item is scissors. Now, these scissors are in the kitchen area and I love them. They're sharp and they actually work. I've bought some black ones here before that I don't like, but these ones I love. Number two, salad tongs. Now, as funny as this sounds, if you don't mind the red color, these are my most favorite salad tongs. Number three, an edge spatula. They have lots of different spatulas, but this edge one is by far my most favorite one. Number four, measuring items. Now, these are the measuring cups. They actually work just fine, and they fit in each other really well. And I really like the teaspoons, too. Number five, barbecue items. Now, this first item is the tongs. It's not the best quality, but if you're on a budget, it's perfect. Also, these tongs are perfect for flipping over meat on the grill. Number six, spatulas. Now some of these spatulas I love and some I do not. This one, the black one, is high quality. This red one, no. It is not very good, but this black one I love. They also have these metal spatulas there. I didn't purchase this one because I can just feel that I could snap it in half if I wanted to. Eesh. Number seven, Spoons. Now the first spoons I'm going to talk about are the wooden spoons. They have two different kinds and they're both sturdy and I love the flat edge spoon. This one is plastic spoons. I usually love plastic spoons, but the big one broke when I first used it. Number eight, knives. Now I was so excited to see these knives because they looked sharp, they looked good, but when I used them, they were pretty dull. So if you're going to use them in your kitchen, I would say no, but if you're going to use them camping, go for it. Number nine, Cooking pans. Now, if you saw my other video, I talked a little bit about the cooking pans. They all work great. I would just suggest washing them with soap and water by hand and not throwing them in your dishwasher. Number 10, clips. Now, I put clips on here because I'm slightly obsessed with clips, and I bought a lot of these. But my most favorite ones were these ones. They're called the power clips. They were awesome. Number 11, we're going to call this the little things in the kitchen. This one you can get 500 toothpicks for just a buck. This one is salt and pepper shakers. They look much cuter than your white and black containers. Next is matches. You get a ton of them and it's a good brand. Number 12, the chopper or scraper. Okay you guys, I just have to tell you how much I love this. It's like a little knife and you can also scrape up your food and dump it into your bowl. Number 13, containers. Now we all know they have great storage containers at the Dollar Tree, but I found these mini ones perfect for lunches. Next is the paper goods, number 14. So these are the foam cups, and they are like any other foam cups you can get at the store. Not the best quality, but they work. Now the foam plates, on the other hand, were so flimsy that I couldn't even hold the plate and my food at the same time. So no go on those. But I did like the paper plates. You get 15 for a dollar. So not the best deal, but if you're looking for just a few, a dollar is a great price. Now these are bounty paper towels, but I will be honest, when I took it home, I was pretty disappointed for how bad they were. Number 15, oven mitts. Now I love the oven mitts and I love the dish towels. The oven mints are a little bit thin, but they still work great. And they come in all colors. 
Number 16, water bottles. Now, I'm going to be honest. Every single water bottle I've bought at the dollar store leaks, so I'm giving it an X. Number 17, silverware. So if you are on a budget and you really just need some new silverware, this silverware actually is not bad at all. It comes in four for a dollar. Number 18, aluminum. Now I posted about this last time and I had a few of you saying, you know, the big ones don't work very well because the food is too heavy. After trying a few more out, I would have to agree with them. Although these pink and purple ones are darling for spring. But if you have heavy stuff like liquid, make sure you get smaller aluminum foil containers. And number 19 on my list is plastic wrap or foil wrap. I love these foil sheets that are already pre-cut. You can also get Glad Clean Wrap. The Dollar Tree is also one of my favorite places to get the sandwich bags. And these are the double seal ones. All right, guys, that's all I have for my Dollar Tree kitchen finds. I hope these are helpful for you, and I hope you have a great day. See you later.